hello everyone in this video we will see how we can find a peak and label them so whatever kind of graph you have if you want if you want to find a peak at particular location you can find using various method in this video we will see mostly three method uh, that you can do this one first one is this uh, annotation method where you can find manually uh, in your graph and second method is uh, going to this analysis and peak and baseline and you can use this method and third method I will which I prefer to find the peak is the quick peaks so based on your uh, your convenience and kind of graph you can choose any of this method I will see I will show all three method and uh, how to perform the peak finding and labeling so first method is this annotation in this method it's a little bit hectic for me uh, as per my experience you need more precision to find the peak once you select your peak you need to double click it as you can see we have got two value one is showing for the x-axis another one is showing y-axis in this we only required x-axis later on we will see how we can remove that y uh, value simply select this and double click this simply select this peak and double click this like this uh, we do the uh, this things and uh, uh, now what you need to do is uh, you need to uh, uh, remove this uh, uh, y value so doing that you need to select this one as you can see this the dollar sign y value so you need to remove this one once you have done this click ok so we got only x and you need uh, to um, set wherever you want to locate this one and uh, so I think this method is not uh, like uh, convenient why because uh, you need to do this thing for all the uh, find it peak and you need to adjust this location and you can see the drop line is also not visual you need to correct manually so uh, it is not a vertical position so this is a uh, very time consuming and hectic i feel so okay in second method what we will do we will go to the analysis and go to the peak and baseline and peak analyzer open dialog this is the one of the method which i have already shown in ftir plot so again i am showing this one so go to the next and here why we will choose the y0 this one and uh, go to the next here uh, two processes there one they can automatically um, find the peak once we will click they have find every small ripples also there they selected we don't want that we want particular selected peaks only for doing that we have to enable this and then clear all the peak they have found and then we need to add the peaks for quick uh, presentation I'm just selecting only these three peaks we can select many more as per your requirement once we did this we just finish it as we can see this uh, this has plotted so again we need to do uh, editing of this like uh, uh, what we can say we can position below this sorry below the uh, that uh, drop line and we need to rotate that one also see uh, uh, I have selected uh, the this numerical displacement uh, numerical display format is hashtag 5 that's uh, should uh, show the num numerical value but again the 0 is coming in front of every uh, every number so that should not be there again you can rotate this and many more things you can do play with this so this method is also I am um, not uh, that much uh, uh, helpful for me uh, next method which I prefer to um, do the this peak uh, finding and labeling is go to the gadget and uh, select the quick peaks here as we can see this first go to the baseline and we will select again y equals to 0 and go to the find peak we want to find the peak in negative side so uh, we will prefer negative and once we did this 
uh, we will click it ok so now they have find the particular area we want to find from here to here so we need to expand it full plot so we will click this one so they have expanded it now here also we can see this they have also selected few ripples so we don't have to worry about it can be easily changed so go to the preference uh, it uh, open the dialogues this one now so here we can see this local point once you increase this one i will go to the 20 and apply so it will avoid those small small ripples again i will go up to 30 so see now those uh, ripples were gone and they have selected only measure peaks so this is the very easy and quick method and see this there is no decimal decimal now you can see this uh, this is the in the vertical alignment if you want horizontal alignment simply click on this horizontal alignment and it will do this so this uh, is very handy now you have to make sure that before cancelling this go to this one and what you need to do this is tag the peak why because if you don't tag and simply cancel this the all peak which you have uh, find got uh, will um, like uh, disappear so you need to tag this now once you tag this these all peaks are linked together so you don't have to change anything individually now one thing we can do this we can plot this one below the uh, below the this uh, drop line and do this and see uh, again you can make the with the offset and various setting you can play with this and this is the uh, quickest method you can find the peak and level them okay so after the finding peaks uh, after selecting this so these all peaks are connected now suppose if you want to eliminate few data points so you cannot do like this you delete this so uh, you have to remove few um, data points so uh, again you will go gadget and then uh, quick finding so this process you have to do so another way of uh, doing this is to remove the, the uh, those peak points so uh, just go to the data and select the remove bad data points now you can see again so simply just uh, uh, hover your cursor nearby the peak you want to remove select it it will automatically snap that point and press the enter so it will remove that data point again if you want to remove this select this point and press the enter so it will remove that point again select this and, and enter so this is how easy it is so you can uh, remove unwanted data point from your plot thank you so much